Hi, Dvor Stigletier. Happy, happy Purim to everyone around the globe, wherever you may be, to all my brothers and sisters. I have two quick messages. Actually, three. Three messages to deliver, and that's it. Really quick. Number one, let's not forget that today it's all about it's all about prayer. It's so, so, so important to pray. Today is the highest and holiest day on the Jewish calendar. Today is the highest and holiest day on the Jewish calendar. It's higher and holier than Yom Kippur. What do we have to do today? It says, the halach is, kol poshet yad, not nimlo. Anyone that is poshet yad, anyone that opens his hands and asks for money, asks for tzedakah, you have to give him, no matter what. Even if it's a kid, whoever asks, you have to give him. And the same way we have to handle, and the way we have to work with each other and act towards each other down here, is the same way we're, 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 de- we're dealt with from heaven and Shemaim. The way it works is that anyone that turns up to Hashem and says, Hashem, I need, Hashem, I want, Hashem, please, Hashem gives us, Hashem gives us, all you have to do is, you have to ask, you have to ask, you have to open your mouth and ask Hashem for the things that you need for yourself, for your family, for your friends, and for the Jewish nation, for the Jewish people, let's not forget each other, let's not forget that we're all in Gulfs, let's not forget that we're all in a lot of different hard situations, people are in a lot of painful situations, let's ask for each other, today is the day to ask, even when you're driving around in your car, you're cooking in your kitchen, you're delivering your Meshach Manus, whatever it is that you're doing today, talk. You don't have to set aside a specific time. That's also amazing. But in your moment to moment, ask, 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 ask. The day is moving on fast. The minutes are moving. It's going to end very, very soon. It's going to be dark soon. Let's not lose this opportunity to ask for the things that we need in our lives that we want to see in the world. That's number one. Number two, the whole concept of costumes, why we dress up is a message from Hashem telling us that don't forget that this world is a facade. What meets the eye isn't necessarily so true. Hashem is telling us the concept of it. Emuna. Emuna is believe in me even when it seems like I'm not there. Even when there's so much Hester Panim in the in the Megillah, it doesn't mention Hashem's name once, even though everything seemed so normal leading into each other but when you see the whole picture from a bird's eye view you realize that wow how everything is so connected and how God set everything up so much when we are in the story we are living history we are living through history we don't see how everything's connecting we don't see how everything makes sense but everything is perfectly making sense even when we feel like Hashem is not here and he's not making he's not making a Kriya Siamsa for us he's not splitting the Red Sea for us and things are not clear and we're not seeing miracles we are going to see miracles we are going to see them when we when we see see, when we see the story of history and we read the story of history, we are going to see how Yad Hashem, the hand of Hashem, was involved in every single ounce of it. So while we're going through, while we're living through our days, while we're living through our lives, the moral, the message is Emuna, 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 believe in me even when it doesn't seem that way. Believe in me, know that I'm here even though it doesn't seem like I'm here. I'm costumes, dressing up, you see what person is dressed up as something and it doesn't look like him and it doesn't seem like him because he's on the outside, it's one thing, but on the inside, it's a whole other thing. On the inside, it really is that Hashem is here standing behind the whole story, is going, is guiding the story, is guiding us through history and it's going to take us to our Geula, to the Binyan Beis HaMikdash, Binyan Shlishi, but as Hashem very, very soon, it should be our last Purim and Galas next Next prayer, we should be in Yerushalayim, Yer Kodesh. Message number three, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Message number three is just as high and holy as today is. It's also that much that much potential for disaster on this day, for Yetzirah on this day, for Sitra Achra on this day. The evil inclination comes to us on this highest and holiest day and wants us to get upset and wants us to get stressed out and wants us to yell and wants us to be angry. Don't even go there. Don't don't. Don't lend him that hand. Don't don't hold his hand in that whole idea. Talking Lashon Hara, evil and gossip. That is very very much. You'll you'll see it. You'll experience many times throughout the day that you you can fall into that rut into that pit. Don't go there. Remember that today's today's whole message is to be connected, is to open up our homes, to open up our hearts, to give to each other, to give to poor people, to give to the point where it even hurts. And that is also the message of, it says that tzedakah, you have to give so much matanu today, you have to give so much tzedakah to the poor today, to the point where it even hurts a little bit, to the point where it's even like, wow, I gave so much, I should give even more? Yes, give and give and give, because when the way we the way we give to each other and the way we deal with each other, mida connected mida, the way we deal with each other, that's how they're going to be dealing with us in Shemaim. So with that, I give us all a bracha that should be an incredible perm, a happy, a fun perm, a perm full of tefillah, full of brachos for each other. Open your homes, open your hearts, love each other, and the way we deal with each other down here is the way Hashem is going to deal with us in Shemaim. Have a great, great perm. Happy, happy perm. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.